This video will demonstrate a workflow to import spot elevations as a terrain model using En-ROADS SS3. I'm going to use the command create terrain by text interpolation. As you can see, I'm in a 3D file at this point, but I'm going to reference in a 2D file. When I fit the view, we'll zoom in and take a look at these spot elevations. So you can see that we have the text indicating the different spot elevations, and we want En-ROADS to import this text, read these text elevations, and as a result, create a terrain model. Our first step will be to use our Graphical Filter Manager to create a filter for these spot elevations. To do so, we will first make a selection set out of these elevations. Now in the Graphical Filter Manager, right click on Graphical Filter and select Create Filter from Selection Set. We'll select Finish to accept the selections that it has uh, pulled from the selection set. We're going to give this a name of spot elevations, change our feature type to spot, and select finish. Next we'll go into the command create terrain by text interpolation. We'll select the text filter that we just created, spot elevations, and we want to make sure that we have toggled on include text as spot levels. Leave the edge method as remove slivers. We'll select an appropriate feature definition and we'll give this a name. You can see our heads up display tells us to select filters then data point to accept. So we'll data point. Now you'll notice that the heads up display gives us the message the text or linear feature filter has not been selected. So the trick is that even if you're going to be importing only spot elevation, no break lines, you still are required to select a linear feature filter even if it's not in use. So we can click right here on the graphical filter manager. And we'll just quickly create a linear filter. We'll give this the name linear. We want to leave the feature type at break lines. We're not going to edit the filter right now since we don't have any linear features that we wish to import at this time. So we'll just click finish. We'll go back into the create terrain by text interpolation command. Now we can reselect the spot elevations. And now you can see we can select the linear feature filter. Everything else can remain as it was before. This time we'll data point to accept. The command will process. And you can see here that we have had a terrain model that's been created. If we take a look at the properties here, you can see that we can turn the contours off and turn the triangles on. And you can see that our triangles have been created at these points identified by these elevations. So if we just click here, you can see that the elevation is 289.56, which corresponds with this 
text.